welcome to ESO Coder. So today I'm talking to you right from the forest, as you can see. And basically, I just want to tell you that now there won't be as many tutorials as there were before, because I am finishing an app which is called Week Sweep, and it's going to be a weekly planner app. So just to let you know that the tutorials are not gonna be coming out as often as they have before and but uh, this is also an opportunity to talk about some of the real stuff which you need to do in order to release an app an android app successfully on the play store because now i am currently implementing subscriptions api right in a billing so that I can make some some bucks from from my app so that's one thing that I'm doing right now also making apps is not just about programming about coding it's also about marketing because if you have a product but that product is is shit then nobody's going to download it and nobody's going to buy it right so you need to know your ways in marketing because otherwise you ain't gonna do anything. Also, this is an opportunity to talk about why you should be having some kind of a design pattern which you are adhering to because otherwise, without any kind of a design pattern, uh, you will end up in a situation like me where I have basically some call it like cowboy coding. I don't know why. The cow, you know, like you're just shooting off the hips. You're not really aiming, and that's what happened with my app. So I was making up design patterns on the fly, and what happened is that now I have unmaintainable code. Only, or better, it's better to say that only I can maintain that code because I wrote it. I know how it's going but if you wanted to maintain that code oh my goodness you wouldn't be able to do that so uh, as some of you have previously like notified me oh I'm out of frame let's frame me again as previously some of you have notified me on my videos that oh you should be using some design pattern like MVP model view presenter pattern right uh, in your tutorials because now even in the Firestore chat app which you can check out right here from the cart in the corner so in the Firebase Firestore chat app tutorial I'm just writing code inside activities and I have some util classes but the thing is that that code is not really maintainable and also in Android you know that uh, when you have an orientation change Everything is going to be like done. Everything the state is lost. But you know, when you are adhering to some design pattern like model view presenter, or what I'm going to be doing, like model view view model, you know. So that's going to like uh, fix your problems because model view view model MVVM pattern, which is actually the recommended pattern from for Android because now we have the Jetpack support library, as many of you probably know. Yeah, Jetpack, you have architecture components. All right, so now I am back home in a quiet place, not in the forest, because there were behind me some guys and girls really loud, so I couldn't finish the video over there. But now I can talk to you about MVVM and why you should adhere to some kind of a design pattern. So, when you don't have any kind of design pattern, the code is really messy and it's all over the place. But when you have a design pattern like model view view model and an Android jetpack in the recommended architecture for Android is actually model or actually there is view models, there is views and there are also repositories which are for storing data and for actually abstracting 
the retrieving of data because you can have a web service from which you retrieve your data or, or like Firebase, Firestore, right? And you can also have some REST APIs which communicate with your server and you have some SQL queries and also you can have a local database and all of that kind of stuff. So that's what the repositories are for. They are for abstracting your data access. So you have view models, views and repositories, and also you can have some helper classes over if you really want to have them. And uh, yeah, so that's it. You have model view model and you will have nicer code. So take this into your minds, into your hearts, that you should really have some kind of a design pattern because then your code becomes kind of like, it's all cluttered, it's all over the place and it's no good. So, if you like this format of videos where I am talking to you face to face, basically, it's just that I don't see you, but the main thing is that you see me. So, if you like this kind of a format of videos, give this video a like and also share it with other people. Also, subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss more videos like this and also tutorials, but as I've said, there will be less tutorials coming out in this period of time. And uh, yeah, leave a comment if you have anything to say. And see you in the next video.